I'm going to demonstrate using Visit Visualization, a high-performance parallel visualization tool that can handle extremely large data sets, much larger than a single host can handle. Visit is available for a free download uh, from the Lawrence Livermore website. Uh, there's also a CAC uh, Visit page that demonstrates a very simple use and where to get it. Uh, Visit's also installed on the Kane Linux lab load. It's, it's available in user UM Visit. Um, and you can, it is already set up to connect to a CAC resource. If you're installing Visit on your own host, you'll need to download a host profile to connect to a CAC resource. In the case, it's this XML file here. Just save it to your desktop. And I'm doing this on a Mac. Um, this is the same for a Linux host. I would need to copy this file from a desktop to um, home my home directory dot visit um, hosts. And then when I run visit, it will correctly find uh, the ability to connect to, in this case, the Nix login host. So if I look under the host profiles, you'll see now that I have one marked Nix login, because this is the host I'm set up for. It's already configured on how to connect. There's three different profiles, uh, Parallel Interactive, Serial Interactive, and Parallel Batch. Parallel Batch will be the most interesting one. Uh, serial Interactive and Parallel Interactive, they're really only for uh, very small cases as that will run on a login node. The uh, parallel batch though um, can also be used for serial but it submits through the batch system to compute nodes on the cluster uh, and so we'll have to integrate with PBS. So when I go and say open a file I change it from localhost to nix login that engine uh, you'll see that it will prompt me for a password this is your normal uh, SSH password uh, that you use to connect to the CAC resource with. Uh, visit will start up on it and you'll actually see that the path changes to your home directory on the cluster and I'll be able to uh, navigate to files on the cluster that you're connected to and I can visualize files from there. So in this case I'm going to use the serial interactive which is just notice it can only set one CPU. Uh, this is going to run the login node because this is a very small data set. It's going to set up and start up visit and I can go ahead and create uh, plots from this. Now this data is located on a cluster is not located on my actual host. So this is all this work, all the memory and everything's being handled on the cluster. Uh, the client is only showing up on uh, the resulting data. So let me start up visit again. In this case, I'm going to demonstrate using visit for parallel on the cluster. In this case, I'm going to open a very large file. Um, These files, they don't have an extension, so I have to tell it that this is from the Flash uh, tool. I'm going to select Parallel Batch. It, the default gives you two processors, uh, but I'm going to change this to um, I'm going to change this to eight processors. So now, if I log into Nix, the machine I'm connected to. you'll see that there's actually a visit 8 CPU one hour job created for me. Uh, in the box where I selected Parallel Interactive and the number of CPUs, I can also increase the number of nodes. Uh, so this is gonna be one node, eight CPUs. Uh, it could be, I've done as many as 288 CPUs before at the time of this video was created and also increase the amount of time and stuff. So when this job uh, starts, the data is going to be split up and it's going to use the actual compute node so it's going to be able to run in parallel using MPI and use all the memory available in the host. So once the job started the starting engine screen will go away and I'll be able to uh, 
select the file I want. Uh, this is a series of time steps, so I'm jumping forward to which time step I want. And I'm going to go ahead and create a plot using a pseudo color plot. And I'm going to pick the data set I want to plot. And when it's done, the results are sent to the display on my system. So that's how you use Visit with a CAC resource. Now you don't need to run Visit on a CAC resource. You can run it for smaller data sets on Kane lab machines or on your own machine. Uh, it is possible to run in parallel on a multi-core system. So you don't need to use it. But for very large data sets using a cluster would be uh, highly advised.